Hey everyone, I'm Nito King, and this is Flight of the Amazon Queen. It's made by a rather obscure company that I only know of from having done one other game, that being Halloween Harry, and published by a music division of Warner Brothers. Why'd it tick if it's 36 se- Yeah, never mind. Well, King, you really know how to show a girl a good time. It was just dinner and a movie. How was I to know that he'd get upset? Big Hugh's got a thing about guys dating his girl. There's not much we can do now, Joe. Well, Rita, how about one for the road? Did you hear that? Hear what? Sparky? You know him? Don't just stand there, guys. We gotta get out of here before Big U catches on. Too late. I'm one step ahead of you. Gentlemen, kill them! Hey, watch where you put those hands, Buster. Get them, and I want them dead. This time. That was close. I gotta hand it to you, King. You certainly know how to end the night with a bang. Shoot. I almost forgot. I have to pick up Faye Russell, the famous movie star, in less than eight hours. Let's go, Sparky. Will I ever see you again? Only if you're lucky. So that was the intro, and I really hope you paid attention because that has nothing to do with the rest of the game. It does raise a lot of interesting questions though, like, why did the mobsters go to the warehouse at the time the bomb was set to go off? Did somebody else set the bomb and... Why'd they do it without the mobsters knowing? And why'd they wait so long to shoot these people when... They were obviously standing right there before they were even untied? I guess I'd probably better not ask too many questions, because... We'll be here all day. It's just there to be kind of an homage to... Wait here, Sparky. I'll go upstairs and get Miss Russell. Oh. You'll see. It's got a very LucasArts style of humor. Anderson, what are you doing here? And where's Miss Russell? You fool, King! Did you really think that I would let you fly Faye Russell, the most beautiful actress of our time, into the Amazon jungle? Uh, um... Well, yeah, I won the contract fair and square. <laughs> You're more gullible than I imagined. Quit kidding, Anderson. I gotta fly her out before the storm hits. I got my plane all gassed up and ready to go. Not this time, King. I will have the money and the girl. But, but she's my favorite actress. Besides, if I don't get the money, I could lose my plane. That's less competition for Flying Dutchman Airlines. I will fly Faye to the Amazon for her photo shoot, and I will get all the glory. Soon, I will rule the skies! Hey, you can't do that. I just did. Now try and get out of this one, King. See you later! I've got a plane to catch! <laughs> It's locked. <sighs> My one chance to meet the most beautiful actress in all the world has just been shot down in flames. And here I am trapped in a cheap theater hotel in downtown Rio. Guess I should try and find a way out of here. And with that, the actual game begins. As you can see, this game owes a lot more to LucasArts than just the style of humor. We've got the traditional icon bar down below, Lots of different things that we can do. I'm not going to dwell too much on them, because they're pretty obvious. 
And we start with two inventory items. We got a bat and a journal. I guess we'll take a look at the bat first. This was my lucky bat when I played in the mages. And the journal is basically our menu. So you come in here to save and load the game, as well as play around with the other options. Yeah, I do want to turn on the subtitles, and maybe turn down that music, because that's a little loud compared to the voices. Ah, there we go. Maybe that's a little too low. You gotta be able to hear it. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a look around this place. Sheesh, there's more metal here than in a Sherman tank. And I think the game was trying to draw my attention to that chest earlier. Could be useful. Wow, it could be a pirate chest full of treasure. But knowing my luck, it's probably full of linen. Well, let's find out. It's locked. Uh, let's see, the window is always a good way to get out. Must be soundproof. Not even my pal Sparky can hear me. I try to open it and he just bangs on it again, I guess. I'll skip that. Oh, curtain cord. Hey, that dame is a guy. Sure had me fooled. Mira, mira, on the wall. Who's the handsomest pilot of them all? I've always had a thing for brunettes. And blondes. Redheads, too. I bet you that wig is small enough to pick up, so... There we go. More inventory. Now ain't the time to be playing baseball. Ah, oh, sheets. Looks like someone left these here to be washed. Wait a minute, there's something under here. Let's see what it is. Laundry chute. I think that's my way I out. I can see a room below, but it's too dangerous to jump down. Okay, if we can't jump down, we need to make a rope. Easy enough. And then I just need to tie the rope to something. There, that should do the trick. And down we go. They don't have any washing machines down here or anything. Let's see, there's a door with a star on it. I know stars always mean something is important. And why is the default verb walk to? That's stupid. There we go. It's locked. Well, can we knock on it? That doesn't seem to work. Uh, see if anyone's inside? I can talk all I want, but it ain't gonna talk back. Uh, oh, ooh, I see something I might be able to use to open it. These are standard issue with Anderson's goons. That's the way. We just need to use the crowbar, pry the door open. Get at the sweet and vulnerability inside. Not a good idea. I might do some unnecessary damage. Oh, it probably doesn't matter anyway. This door is open. And there's the way out. I think that's our truck. Hey, you. Who? Me? Yeah, you. You are supposed to be upstairs. Ain't he supposed to be upstairs? I don't know how you got out of your room, King. 
this time I'm gonna make it difficult for you to leave the hotel. Oh yeah? What are you gonna do? Take my clothes from me? Don't worry, King. We'll take good care of your clothes. Hey guys, don't leave me here. Me and my big mouth. Naturally, you don't have to do this, but it's so much more fun to walk around in his underwear. Besides which, now I can get it in that trunk. I'd rather leave it here. Alright, fine. Well, what do you know? I just found a towel. Yeah, clearly what I need Enjoy to use. Enjoy your stay at Hotel Copacabana. This will make a worthy addition to my towel collection. I can probably strangle those guys with it or something. That doesn't seem to work. Yeah, I'll just beat him with a crowbar. Not a good idea. I might do some unnecessary damage. Oh well. I see a very valuable looking key over there on the desk. That's probably what I want. The name tag says Lola. Oh, I definitely want that. That key belongs to Miss Lola. Oh, sorry. Hello. I'm Mike Laris, the bellboy. How may I help you? And here's the conversation interface. They give us a choice of things to say. I'm usually going to try to pick the most amusing ones, but for right now, let's get practical. About that key on your desk? Yeah, what about it? I don't think it matters what we say here. I need to borrow it for a while. Sorry, pal, but that key belongs to Miss Lola. Unless you're a friend of hers, I can't let you have it. Well, that gives me an interesting idea. About that key again. What do you want now? Now we have a different option. I really love the way this game does that, and not very many do. I'm Lola's friend. She asked me to get it for her. Oh, why didn't you say so earlier? Feel free to take the key anytime. Thanks. And with that established, we can grab the key. Let's see what else this Mike Laris has to say. Howdy, Mikey boy. Don't call me Mikey boy. Is there a back way out of this joint? Ah, oh, there's just the front entrance. That's the only way in and the only way out. Why do you want to know? It's a hobby of mine. I like to count back doors. Ah, oh, that's a pretty weird hobby. Sorry, but you picked the wrong building. How long have you been working here? For about six months now. My uncle co-owns this hotel with Anderson, so he got me this job. Anderson owns this hotel? Anderson co-owns the hotel. Uncle EA owns half. Anderson is using the money from the business to build up his airline. Have you seen Faye Russell in here? Yeah, I sure have. She left here not long ago with Anderson. She sure is beautiful, isn't she? That Anderson is a lucky guy to be hanging out with her. Jeez, how goony can you get? Are there any special shows on today? Uh-huh. Lola will be doing her showgirl routine soon. That's a show that you better not miss. She's one pretty dame. Thanks for the information. That's okay. Sorry to bother you. Goodbye. Bye. At least it doesn't make you choose if there's only one thing to say. He'll just automatically say it. Alright, let's sneak into Lola's dressing room before her show and... 
You know, I haven't really planned that far ahead. It fits. Uh, hello, Lola. Well, 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 if it isn't Joseph King. Yeah, there's a lot of things I can say, but this is the only time anyone ever notices that you're in your underwear. What do you think of my new boxer shorts? What is it with you, Joe? You always asked me that question when we were going out. Except back then, you never wore them in public. So I guess they've got a history, huh? How are things? Much better, since you walked out of my life. It's been a while. Not long enough. Lola, I need your help. Yeah? So what else is new? A lot of interesting possibilities here. My Aunt Dorothy isn't too well. What? Who's Aunt Dorothy? Yeah, they're pretty much all the same joke. She's Uncle Toto's wife. You're weird, Joe. Now what do you really want? I've got to. A foot massage would be really neat. Keep this up, Joe, and I'll give you a face massage with a rolling pin. Addison's goons have me trapped here. And I suppose you want me to help you escape. Well, yeah. Why should I help you, Joe? It took me a long time to forget what you did to me. Look, I'm sorry for what I did in the past. So you should be. Get me a towel, and I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Lola. You're the best. Why is she climbing to the shower with her clothes on anyway? Well, we've got time to look around the room before bringing her the towel that I've got with me. Hey, buddy. I got manners. And yet he'll stand there staring at her forever. Okay. Gee, handcuffs. I sure hope Lola's not in trouble with the cops. I'd rather leave it here. It's just an ordinary looking teddy bear. Hang on. My pal Sparky had a teddy just like this. Nah. Mirror, mirror, on the wall. Who's the handsomest pilot of them all? Hubba, hubba. That Lola sure is some fancy dame. I'd rather not look through Lola's personal stuff. There are more fancy dresses here than in the front row of a Frank Sinatra concert. All right, that's probably enough. Here's your towel, Lola. Thanks. You want to get out of this dump? Well, I've got a plan. What sort of plan? Let me see. Aha! Uh -huh. I found it. Found what? You can use this dress as a disguise. Here. Thanks. You know, Lola, I won't forget this. Yeah, right. Well, you better get out of here. I've got a show in ten minutes, and I ain't dressed yet. Okay, let's get out of here. I love how bringing her a towel is enough. It's just my size. Like, oh, you brought me a towel. Yeah, I'll give you a dress. I need some more feminine stuff to complement the dress. Well, we've got the wig. So, I see something else that we need. Hmm, made in Korea by Breastomatic. They feel so real. And that should be enough. And of course, everything else on these shelves is made of rubber. Great, just what I need. 
a box of rubber tools. They're made of rubber, I should have guessed. Even the sheets. That's strange. They're made of rubber. But we don't need any of that stuff. We're in disguise. You called for me, Dr. Einstein? Yes. I want you to witness the testing of my dino ray. With it, I can turn humans into dinosaur people. Watch as I demonstrate. Now to activate the machine. <laughs> Amazing! She transformed into a monster before my very eyes. You've seen nothing yet. Observe as I activate the aggression enhancer. Soon she will be a quivering, snarling mass of dinosaur terror. She doesn't look very menacing. <laughs> That's just a, a minor uh, technical problem. I'll soon have it fixed. Unfortunately, uh, she was my last specimen. I need more Amazon women. Then I can create a dinosaur army to take over the world. <laughs> Well, that was certainly a relevant divergence. Anyway, I guess I'd better make sure my disguise works. Hello there, big boy. Hello, ma'am. I'm Mike Lawrence. How may I help you? Ugh. And these choices. You look mighty fine in that little bellboy outfit. <laughs> Why, thank you, ma'am. Did your mom make that outfit for you? Yes, she did. She's a wonderful woman. She cooks for me, she cleans up after me, and she makes my clothes for me. Why do people like this exist? Why are most of them watching this video? I like the way your tummy hangs over your belt. Oh, a high-fat diet and no exercise will do that to you, ma'am. It's such a stereotype. What's a nice guy like you doing in a place like this? I work here for my uncle, EA. He co-owns this hotel with Anderson. I really must go. Nice talking to you. My pleasure, ma'am. All right, that's more than enough of that. He's one of Anderson's goons. All brawn, no brains. Now ain't the time to be playing baseball. I wouldn't want to risk them finding out that I'm not a woman. Fair enough, let's just get the heck out of here already. Hurry, Sparky. We've got to get to the airport. Hey, that wasn't Lola. That was King. Let's get him! Thanks for pulling my clothes out of the trash, Sparky. Uh-oh. Rico and Eddie are hot on our heels. And for some reason, we don't get to hear the gunshot sound effect again until I open the journal. But rather than worry about that, I'll just take note of the fact that he's such a terrible shot, he will never hit me no matter how many times he tries. And I think this is the perfect spot for a cliffhanger. I'll get away from these guys and try to get Faye Russell to where she's going next time on Flight of the Amazon Queen.